Jason kind of here. I'm not entirely sure why I haven't told this story ever. I told it once before in Ian187 stream, and it just dawned on me that there's pretty much like 200 people in those streams at all times. Came a little bit of a meme amongst them for a little bit, and then um, it just kind of uh, faded away. So I'm going to tell you that story right now. Yeah, people are fucking retarded here. But anyway, if you guys have been around for a while, you would know I'm not really the, the biggest cat person in the world. I've owned some cats in my day. I used to own cats, but predominantly it's always been dogs. Whenever I had cats, there was always dogs there too. I always kind of favored the dogs just because dogs love people more than cats do. Cats kind of just hate everyone and they're little fucking bitches and... Uh, uh, uh. Why lonely cat ladies like cats, I will never know. Maybe just they, like, lonely cat ladies just want to be lonely forever. So they get the, the one animal that just hates them. Instead of just self-loathing, you, you have a, a, another living creature in your house that also hates you. It's like, okay, I'm not the only one. I just don't hate myself. These other living organisms in this house also hate me and I feed them and I'm their bitch. But there are cats that I do love. Few cats, a few cats. For those of you that actually did hear this story in Neil's live stream, the Monday Night live stream, this story actually predates a little further back within the history of, of my history with cat. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. So, when I was younger, I mean, I'm talking like before kindergarten and before all that fucking jive, I was living with my dad and we used to live on pretty big plots of land and we always had a shitload of fucking animals. I mean, we had goats, pigs, horses for a long time until that died. You know, we had dogs and we had cats. We had the whole shebang. One time we even had fucking chickens. I wouldn't say that I lived on a farm or anything like that, but there was always a lot of animals around the house. Cats were always like, for us, the typical rodent catcher, and that was pretty much their purpose. We'd leave them food outside and blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, they were just cats. And when they were kittens, yeah, my former stepsisters and my sister, you know, they would like to play with the cats and they were cute. But once they grew up, man, they got the boot real quick. Goddamn, bird. So anyway, with all these animals that we had, the cats and the dogs, of course, never got along. The cats were always pretty much in the trees. They knew the dogs, so they knew how to escape them. One day, our neighbor's cat gets into our big ass yard, finds herself in the middle of it. Our dog was running around in our yard or whatever, totally caught this fucking cat by surprise and tore his ass up. I mean, tore his ass up. <laughs> Really, nigga? Fuck out of the way, idiot! Look at this fucking rice burner gang. Anywho, my dog fucking ripped this cat up. I mean, by the time me and my dad got over to the cat, this thing, it's like guts were hanging out. Mind you, I'm like maybe six years old at the time, and the cat's guts were hanging out. He was bleeding all over the place, barely able to mount, just going <laughs> just fucking making all these like feral ass sounds and shit. My neighbor comes out because he hears all the commotion. My dad goes back into the house gets his 22 go off there about to handle some business i remember it being so casual so nonchalant it was just as if like my neighbor and my dad were talking to each other you know it was just like they were just having a regular old conversation i remember it my dad's got a gun in his hand the neighbor was like oh my it looks like my cat got into your yard huh and my dad was like, yeah, yeah, you know, it happens, whatever. And then my dad just like casually takes aim at this fucking cat that's wriggling around on the ground. And just shoots it right in the fucking head. And then I had to go throw it in the fucking dumpster. That's just how that was. So <laughs> cats have always kind of been expendable to me. And I know that that's not really the popular idea of what cats are, but I mean, that's just how it is, man. It's like different cultures have different views on, you know, the animals that you know and love. I don't want to say any particular countries, but I know that there are countries out there that use cat meat. And uh, I mean, I don't use cat meat, 
because I mean I heard that it's not very good and it's pretty uh, low quality meat and uh, you know, there's people that eat horses out there and dogs and shit so I mean don't don't be mad at me because of the way that cats were utilized back where I come from. I mean, it's not like I, <laughs> I'm like from like the mother country or something like that or the motherland. It was in Mariloma. I was living in Mariloma. <laughs> it was not too far from here. At the same time, it's kind of like farm country, you know, everyone's got a big, you know, like an acre or two or whatever. So anyway, the story that started this whole arson in the trash cat meme or uh, hashtag or whatever the fuck it was. So anyway, many, 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 many years later, uh, actually Derek was there at the time when this shit fucking popped off. So my dad, he got himself a dog, half boxer, half Labrador. Beautiful dog, his name was Dodo. Probably one of the nicest dogs you will ever meat in your goddamn life. He was a big dog. He probably had the brain the size of a peanut because he would run into things and he was really clumsy, but he he was really, really, really just a happy fucking dog. But when my dad, when he actually adopted the dog, he was told that, you know, the, the dog is probably the best dog ever, but they would not let you take the dog if you had cats. Reason being is that for whatever reason, he was literally like a fucking, uh, Soviet Russian cat assassin. He sees a cat, his eyes glaze over like like the KGB has like this secret imagery fucking password to where when it sees a cat he just goes into full fucking terrorist killer mode. Now we had a cat at the time, again an outdoor cat, but my cat was smart again because he knew how the dog worked, he knew how to escape. Now, that's where it all fucking started. One time Someone left the back door open, it was cracked, the door got open, and the dog got out. Before I could even get off our property and turn the corner onto the street, the dog was already like fucking a quarter mile down the street, already found one of the neighbor's cats. So I'm fucking running over there as fast as I humanly can. So at the time I was pretty out of shape because I was drinking like 640s a day. So I really wasn't the best of in shapes. So I'm chasing this dog down and he's already got this fucking cat cornered. And before I could get to him, the dog grabs this cat by the fucking head and just starts fucking shaking the shit out of him like a death roll for a goddamn crocodile. And so I run over to this fucking dog and I'm like, oh shit, like this is like a really, really like well-groomed cat, like almost like a goddamn show cat. Have this crazy gold collar, have like this fancy bell and a nice little fucking gold-plated name tag. Name was like Fifi or something like that. It almost looked like the cat on the Fancy Feast fucking commercials. Go, I only eat the best because I'm a fucking faggot ass cat. Blah, 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 blah. That's what this cat looked like. So I knew this cat would be missed. So I tried my best to save the cat. I mean, the dog was juking me. Like he was like, no, nah, this is my kill. Like, nope, this is mine. You cannot take this from me. I was yelling at the dog and I was letting him know that he had a big ass ass beating waiting for him when he got home. He didn't give a fuck though. Like he didn't even look like the same dog. Like I almost thought that I was chasing down the wrong dog. I looked in his eyes. I didn't see Dodo. I saw like fucking doo-doo. I was looking in the eyes of Satan. So anyway, the dog just takes off back towards my house though, and I'm chasing after him, still got the cat in his mouth. He goes across the street from my house, and I'm all out of breath, and he goes under this fucking RV, just still fucking biting different parts of the cat, fucking trying to rip chunks of meat off of the cat, Chinese food. And so I finally sneak up behind the dog, grab him by his fucking collar, knock him one upside the head. Yeah, I hit my dog, but I mean, it was more because I cared about him because everyone in that homeowners association was a dick. We had so many problems with them, so this was like that one opportunity that if we got caught up, we would have been fucked. Like, we would have got sued, the dog would have had to been put down. So yeah, in the heat of the moment, man, I smacked that dog off the fucking side of the head just because I was like, you fucking idiot, you just killed yourself, essentially. So I get the dog away, and there's the fucking cat. The cat's just fucking laying there, dead as a fucking doorknob, dude. Deader than fucking fried chicken. Deader than ashes. Done. So I freak the fuck out. I go inside, I get some gloves. I pick this cat up by its fucking tail because I mean, it was just a, a bloody mess. But apparently the dog got to that part of the fucking cat too. 
because when I picked it up by the tail, the tail pretty much halfway ripped off. I heard a loud pop, and I guess that was like whatever bone that connects the tail to the body popped off. And it was pretty much hanging by a thread. So I threw it into the closest trash can I could find, which was next door to the house that I was at, which is my good buddy at the time. I threw it in his trash can and put a bunch of other trash on top of it. Now, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking because the buddy that I had, he was a good friend all up until it came to telling his mommy. So I let him know without thinking because i remember i'm still having an adrenaline rush so i'm all hopped up and i'm like hey dude look look there's a dead cat in your trash can you don't have any vicious dogs so i'm keeping this cat in your trash can you keep your fucking mouth shut if anyone asks any questions or anything like that you keep your goddamn mouth shut don't tell nobody don't tell your mom if anyone comes to the door don't even fucking talk to them. Just tell them to fuck off. Play your video games. Drink your Capri Suns. Whack your pud with a fucking pair of tweezers. I don't care what the fuck you gotta do. You keep your goddamn mouth shut. So anyway, later on that day, I see a woman. I'm just chilling out on my porch drinking a beer, a 40, because inside my head I'm like, God damn it, my dog might have to get put down, and I'm kind of tripping, but I'm trying to keep a cool, calm, and collected. I see this lady going door to door, looking depressed a little bit and so i see her going to door to door i'm like fuck i bet you that's that girl that owns that cat i see her go down to my buddy's house where i fucking threw that cat in that goddamn dumpster and what do i see i see her go to that fucking door and i see him come out and i'm like oh bitch and i see his bitch ass with his tail behind his legs boom he comes out of that goddamn house walks over to the goddamn trash can opens it up and home girl starts bawling like a fucking girl scout with a goddamn skin knee and i was like this traitorous ass bitch this fucking snitch he snitched so goddamn hard it's like he was about to get paid off that snitch and he looked at me Man, he was a little terrified. So anyway, homegirl keeps making her rounds. She's going from door to door still, still crying, sobbing and shit. Finally, she makes it to our house. When I seen her coming, I was like, Dad, hide the dog. Hide the fucking dog. Put Benny out because he's a little fucking fluffy little fuck that couldn't hurt a goddamn thing. I'll put him in my room. I'll hide. You come to the door and you talk to the fucking lady because I don't know if she saw me running around, so I was going to take that chance. Well, after my dad handles it, I come out, he tells me what happened, and he said, she came to the door saying that there was a, a pit bull running around. Mind you, my dog's a boxer, Labrador. She said there was a pit bull running around, killing all the neighborhood cats, like the Hitler of dogs, just cat genocide. She said that he left behind a, a trail of cats, dead cats all over the place, just dead cats left and right as if you would expect to go outside and just just piles and piles and mass graves of, of dead cats everywhere that you can find them and so as she's talking my cat walks up and rubs up against this lady's leg and she looks down and she's like oh you have a cat and my dad's like yeah we've had this cat for 20 years and she's like oh okay well you might want to keep that cat safe because i know that you wouldn't have a mean dog with this cat and she's like yeah well, keep your cat safe because there's a pit bull running around and it just killed my cat. <laughs> so, uh, our cat actually saved my dog's life. And so, my dog got off scot free because pit bulls exist. But we never heard from it again. That dog is still alive to this day, doing well, living with my dad, my little Benny. He's doing good as well. So, you know, it all worked out in the end. I mean, at the end of the day, someone lost their cat. But, I mean, it may have meant a lot to her, but then again, if you let your cat run outside, you kind of don't really care about your cat because cats are kind of dumb and they get ran over by cars all the time. And, you know, you really don't, don't care that much. If you really care about your cat, just leave it inside. Make it an indoor cat. I mean, because if you leave your cat outside, it's pretty much just, hey, I have a cat, but it's outside. It's just like kind of like a stray cat that you feed. Uh, keep your cats inside, that's all I gotta say. But anyway guys, that's just about the end of that story. If you liked it, go ahead and give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you liked it, I mean, just give it a thumbs down. I don't really give a fuck. It doesn't matter. I hope you guys know that those ratings don't matter. As long as you do rate, that's the important part. So just rate the video and, you, and you'll be alright. And then subscribe if you want to or if you hated the video, if you're really, really adamant 
about your cat loving endeavors go ahead and unsubscribe that's always good i mean i'm trying to get quality subscribers i don't want someone that's gonna get butt hurt and unsubscribe over cat videos so if you're gonna unsubscribe just do it right now just do it you don't need to be here this is the wrong channel for you i'm sure jake paul channel would be really good for you and um maybe his, his brother john paul wait is that the pope i don't know if that's the pope or not might be the pope